We're here with head women's basketball coach Kate Peterson Abiad. And coach, can we just get your overall thoughts on today's game against Eastern Michigan? Well, I think you know it was disappointing uh, that we came out with a loss in this game. I think we anticipated um, showing having a stronger performance tonight. Um, prepared for the pressing and um, the really aggressive defense that we knew that they would throw at us. Um, they have a lot of depth and they just kept running people in, fresh people in to continue their pressing and trapping. And um, I thought initially we didn't have a lot of composure when it came to the press. I thought we turned it over way too much. Um, and it cost us an early, um, you know, they gave them an early lead. Uh, in the first half, they scored 20 points off of our 16 turnovers. And uh, that was, you know, really an insurmountable um, I think an insurmountable first half for us. Second half, I thought we plugged away a lot better, only turned the ball over five times, um, but you know, didn't make a lot of shots. We were missing a lot of open shots. We were forced into taking a lot of three-point shots, and that's not typically our game. Um, so little, played a little bit outside of our comfort zone. Um, my hope is that we've learned a lot from this game. My hope is that um, moving forward, that we will have more composure, that we will be better prepared for um, you know, the pressing and, and as early as next game, um, some of the things that we, are, we will see against our opponents. You touched on this a little bit. You guys started to make a comeback late in the second half. What did you see out of your team? What did you tell them during timeouts to make this comeback here? Well, we knew we needed to get stops and um, on the defensive end, and we needed to push the ball up. Even though they were pressing, we needed to advance the ball quickly and try to be aggressive to the basket. We were in the double bonus at the time, was hoping to get to the free throw line, stop the clock. Um, what we ended up getting was a little bit of that, but we also drove and kicked and hit a couple shots, and so we were able to make a bit of a comeback. Um, and then, of course, in the end, we decided to foul to try to, you know, try to cut that even further, and they hit their free throws, and that seemed to ex extend their lead a little bit further. But um, I was very pleased with our effort all the way down the stretch. I thought that we never quit fighting, um, and I thought we put some people in positions, you know, um, that maybe they haven't experienced before. Especially, you know, talking particularly about our freshmen. Once again, the junior class led your offense. Can you talk about their performance today? Well, you know, that's our expectation, and um, you know, they, they seem to be very evenly distributing the ball. Um, they're taking on equal roles, equal responsibility to handle a majority of our scoring, um, and then, you know, trying to get some good quality and consistent um, help from, from the others on our team. Um, I think that's our expectation of them, and, uh, you know, we, we we need them to be 15 point scorers. You know, really all three of them have got to be able to produce that type of a game for us. You know, game in and game out, they've got to do well on the defensive end, make very few mistakes. They have to be able to think about and act upon scoring on the offensive end. Um, and they need to be a calming and consistent factor for us with our young kids out on the floor. You got some good minutes out of Olivia and Brooke also today. Can you talk about their performance? Well, you know, we really have, um, have put them into a situation where we're asking them to play about half of the game. Olivia, Brooke, and Kayla. Um, and, and that's a pretty young group of people. And at, at one point in the game, they were all three in the game together, which is, is not something I really want to do, but um, was forced to do during that time. Um, you know, they are coming along as well as we would hope they would. And, and this is the first time in a long time that we've played freshmen. And typically, it's been one, not three. Um, I'm really pleased with what I'm seeing. I think that they are probably um, very frustrated with, um, you know, their performances and their what they're able to do out there on the floor right now. And, and all the, you know, we're constantly telling them that's your box out. That's your that's your rotation. And um, I think that they are a bit overwhelmed. But what we need to do is continue to give them consistent minutes so that they can be. Uh, much more secure in their roles and understand what our expectations are from them as we get into conference play. This is their time to learn and grow so that we can be ready and solid and be at least eight deep going into the conference play. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.